Another way of altering lettering is by changing the baseline. The default baseline is called the free line. This is a horizontal line, but you can change this baseline in many different ways. One way you can change it is to have arced lettering either above a circle or below a circle. Type in the words, select circle CW baseline, click on apply, click in the center, drag to the right, click again, and press enter. This places the lettering above a circle. If you wish to have less arced lettering, you may create an oval with three clicks. So again, type in the lettering, select circle CW, click on apply, click in the center, drag to the right, click again, and drag down. This places the lettering in an oval shape above arc. Circle CCW will arc the letter, and this circle CCW stands for circle counterclockwise. This will arc the lettering below the circle or the oval. If you want to do a circle, you click on apply after selecting C circle CCW, click on the screen, drag to the right, and click again, and then press enter. If you wish to have the lettering less arced, then use three clicks as you did with circle CW. The free line vertical baseline places the letter in the vertical direction. So type in your lettering, select free line vertical, click on apply, and click on the screen to generate the lettering. Generally, you will want to increase the letter spacing with this orientation, and you will want to choose block fonts to make the letters easier to read. To increase the spacing, just click on the up arrow and click on apply, and the letters will re-space. The any shape baseline is used when you want to draw the path you wish the letters to follow. So type in the phrase, select any shape, click on apply, and then begin to draw a line with right or left click. Be careful when you use left clicks as they will form peaks in the path and the letters may overlap. Gentle curves are the best path to draw. After clicking, press enter to activate the letters. Of course, these letters can be edited if you don't like the result. That will be covered in the video on reshaping. Another baseline that you may want to use is called the predefined baseline, and it is used to arc lettering above and below the center. The center can be a design or it can be another line of lettering. In the white box of object properties, type in the phrase you want to use, press enter to go to the next line, type in the word, and press enter to go to the third line. This is going to place the first word above the circle, the second word within the center of the circle, and the third word below the R. After you finish typing it in, select the predefined baseline, click on apply, and then click and drag, click again, and press enter. And you can see that places the letters arced above and below. Now I can also use a design and put letters above and below the design. To do this, I type in my first word and press enter twice to move to the third line of lettering. I'll select the predefined baseline, click on apply. I'm going to click in the center of the design, drag to the right, click again, and this time we're going to use oval shape. So I'm going to do three clicks. I'll click again after dragging down, and then the lettering is generated. Have fun using the different baselines with your lettering. I hope you have fun using the different baselines with your lettering.